Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with our next topic which is X INAD. So X INAD, if you know the way the traditional daemons work, so let's draw down how the traditional daemons work. So what happens is that let's take an example of let's say the traditional daemon for let's say FTP okay so this is your let's say this is your FTP server okay so there will be a daemon which will running FTPD so that particular daemon will listen for any request on a particular port and that port for FTPD is 20. So that is a traditional way any server daemon processes a request. But in case of INAD, okay, so for INAD it is a little bit different. So this is your X INAD. Okay. So this we call it as a super server. The reason we call it as a super server because the XINA D daemon is the extended internet services daemons and the purpose of this is to control the starting of various network services which are not started at boot time. And why we don't start them at boot time? The reason is that they remain dormant and when some request come then only it becomes active okay so these network services daemons could be let's say it could be your FTP it could be say TFTP or it could be uh, TF so different daemons there could be many other different daemons okay it could be let's say vs ftpd so different type of daemons which listens for the different requests so these are not started at boot time okay so they are started when x inet d receives the request so the request comes to x inet d and x this super server listens on multiple ports so it will be listening on ports like say 20 it could be listening on port say 63 it could be listening on re request to say whatever we map it for xftpd so let's say this is the port number so this daemon listens for all these ports and any request when this and any request which come is handled by this so when the session is closed the super server shuts down this particular daemon this allows for more efficient use of system resources such as memory for infrequently used services and the drawback for this is that it takes a little bit longer for the request service to respond to requests Okay, so that is about this X INA D, which we call it as a super server. Okay, so this X INA D, what is happening here is that any request is coming to port 20, port 63, port this, or, or any XYZ services which is managed through X INA D this will receive it so that request will be serviced by this it will re receive the request for that port and it will start the service at this port and once the work is done it will close down this particular process okay so when it start receives the request once it is done it will close down this so the memory is not held up basically and this memory is used for any other activity 
So it's like an optimized utilization of these different daemons and they are triggered or they are started when the request is received. Okay, so now let's look at in the system how it all looks like. Okay, so let's see this. This is our one of the social Linux system and in this system, let's look for this process called say okay so this is one process that we checked let's look for this daemon x inner d okay so let's go to this folder etc and in this folder let's look at this configuration this file x inet star okay take note that there are two files one is this is the configuration file and there is a directory which stores all these services so let's look at this file first so if you do cat for this file you can see that this directory so all the files which are included in this directory is addressed or taken care of all managed by this particular daemon okay and if we go to this directory let's look at this is the directory and if we look at all the files here let's say one of the file which is let's say it's a vnc okay so this will start this service okay and this service will be started at this particular port so you can see that which service what port and which process to start all this is listed here in these files same thing goes for any other file as well okay so you can see that let's say let's see these servers okay so these servers you can see that this is going to start at this port if we take any other service let's say our sync so when the request comes for this it will start at this port okay it's a stream it comes in stream format and this is the pr process this is the daemon that will be started so this is the way how x inet d acts like a super server so and it listens on all these ports whatever is listed here okay so that is pretty much i wanted to cover in this particular topic of x inet d so we have seen how a traditional server works that is it, it is live all the time till the system is running and it will wait for the request but in case of x inet d as we have seen that this x inet d this is running like a super server all the request for all these services so here what services we have seen we have seen services like time vnc servers r sync so all these servers services are addressed or for all these services x inet d receives the request and on receiving the request it will start the respective daemon and these daemons will process this request and once the work is done they will close that particular daemon they will shut down that daemon okay so that is pretty much i wanted to cover in this particular topic thank you for joining me and have a nice day bye bye